Good morning. Here we are, day six. I always have to stop and think. <laughs> it's day six of the locket making, and this is video number nine, I believe. Um, and I wanted to tell you, you know, I mentioned quickly yesterday that um, I'm concerned about that center panel. Um, the front panel is a window, the back panel is like the background, and the um, amount of stuff going on on that center panel is, is bugging me a little bit. I sent a quick process photo to my client, and she called and said, called back a few minutes later, and she said, I think there's too much going on on that center panel. <laughs> and I said, I think so too. So it's in the tumbler. It's been tumbling all night. I'm about to go in there and see what we see. Um, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to end up modifying that center panel to simplify uh, all the elements. There is just, it's just too much going on. So the tumbler is in the polishing uh, room, polishing and tumbling room. So let's go back there and see what we see. Okay, so this is Fred and Wilma. They're my tumblers. <laughs> and uh, Fred's been running all night and let me turn him off and see what we have. I think we're going to have to go rent, rinse. Oh, wait, here's a piece. Yeah, the busy center panel. Okay, so, um, yeah, <laughs> I think we need to make some changes here. Um, I, I marked over what I th was thinking about cutting out to see if that's enough of a change. Um, I kind of just the blue Sharpie just to help me visualize it a little bit. Um, and I'm not sure that I'm going to like the what's left. I, I really think it would be best if it's just simple and the two stones are, you know, with a spacer in between, same position, but just without the little loopy bottoms. Plus, if I cut off um, the ones on the left side here, this, this setting is on the left, which has the zircon in it now, it's just not going to have a lot. It's only going to be connected at one point, and it's a small point, and I'm not sure that that's stable and sturdy enough. So I'm going to cut the middle out of this center piece, the center panel.
so um, there have been some changes. Um, a lot has happened since this morning. Um, couple, let's see, where do I start? Well, we talked about the center panel, and yes, um, I already had that nagging feeling that it, that it wasn't that it wasn't right. So, so we did that, um, and there's actually been several changes. So, let me show you those. It's it's unusual that um, I would have this many changes to make at this point in the process, but. I have to go with my gut, and when things don't feel right or I feel like they can be better, um, then that's what I'm going to do. So here's what we have. Um, this center panel is much uh, simpler now, and the two stones will go right there. Um, I decided to add, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but I decided to put some texture on the monogram and that really really helped it to pop against that background so um, I used um, hammer hand piece to do that and just chased in a hammer texture only on the lines of the monogram not on the background um, and while I was at it I thought you know let's change it all um, I <laughs> as I've already done those little gold vines twice but they after they tumbled um, and, uh, you know, I was using a, a tumbling mechanism that did have some abrasion to it. And they just, they were just really, really thin. And I didn't feel good about that. I was not wanting them to go out like that. They were so delicate. And there's dainty and elegant. And then there's blow on me and I might break. So <laughs> I decided to redo the vines. I took both of them out and used those original ones as a template to make thicker ones. And now the thicker ones, I've just finished soldering, soldering them in, so I have quite a bit of cleanup to do. They haven't been polished or cleaned at all. Um, I have pieces on the back to cut. So that's still left to be done. But I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and solder this tubing that's the hinge pin go ahead and solder it in place um, fix so it'll be fixed to this center knuckle then the two outer ones will still rotate and I can actually then cut an opening in here for the chain to go through um, so and that way, when it does spin, it won't affect the chain, and it's, a, it's, it's like cleaner that way. So I don't have to add another element. It's just going to be integrated into the design. So I'm going to go do that and uh, clean up the back of this, and then we'll be back. Okay, here we are. Um, it is the end of day six. Just a final little check-in here with you to let you know what happened today. Um, a lot happened today. Um, um, I soldered the hinge pin in place of in the center of the center panel or the knuckle on the center panel. Um, I took the vines out and redid them, and I altered the design of the center panel, um, which I mentioned to you this morning. So. It's, um, it's a little bit different than it was earlier, and, and yet not that different, but um, there were just little things that bothered me, and um, I had to kind of go with my instincts, and my client, um, who's also a very good friend, um, we were on the same page, and, and um, it was so funny. She would say, how about that one thing? Tell me about that. And I'd say, oh, I already changed it. <laughs> so that was kind of how it went. Um, but I'm excited because I feel like it's going to be better now.